Lab Games, I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today, we're gonna play Planetarium. Planetarium. We're gonna make space. Make I need some space, space planets. I need some space. <laughs> All right, Planetarium is a, um, I'm gonna call this kind of pickup and delivery game for uh, one to four players, and we can talk about that later. Um, plays in about 45 minutes, was designed by Stefan Vachon and published by Game Salute. Okay, so this is one of the games we picked up at PAX Unplugged. Yes. And so it is our first playthrough since coming back from the uh, since we come back from convention, the convention yeah. which was yesterday. Yeah. So, Yay. right to it, <laughs> not wasting any time. So, Planetarium, let's get to the table and we'll show you how it plays. Hello and welcome to the table. Welcome to space. Space. So we are playing Planetarium for two players. And what is Planetarium? Planetarium is a game about the creation of a solar system. Yes. From its rarest or basest of elements into... Its, yes, its the most basic elements. Into either habitable or hostile planets. Right. So let's go over the board, the components, uh, sort of the turn structure, and we'll jump right to it. This is a, I'd say it's a deceivingly lighter game, because by the looks of the board, it is pretty in intimidating. Yeah, um, it's it's lighter, but then it's kind of deep in strategy. But so. deep in strategy. So yeah. let's go through it. So in the four corners of the player board, or the game board, you will see four different planets uh, across from each other, and they're lettered A through, through D, and across from each other are the same planet types. So those planets uh, A and B are what we want to call terrestrial planets, and planets C and D are sort of like your Saturns or the gaseous mm -hmm. systems, gaseous like Saturns, planets. Jupiters, gas giants, right? And they are also located on the board by these little planet uh, tokens, and there's all four of them, and they're lettered, right? So they're all surrounding this central star. And this star, like any star, has a gravitational pull that creates an orbit for all of these planets and all of this matter. And the movements of the planets and the matter in the game are uh, very specific in how, in how they react. So one main thing to keep in mind is that within this, this gravitational pull and all these different orbits, everything is moving clockwise around this track. Right, so you're going to have um, orbits that are lettered Roman numeral one through Roman numeral seven, and these are like sort of the real far out planets. Like, I guess you could say what like um, Pluto used to be before it was deemed not to be a planet. Yeah, something that's like really far out there, and it's kind of not in a an exact uh, orbit, right. like all the more interior planets. All these chits that you see or tokens on the board represent different minerals. So you've got your gases, you've got your rocks water and iron so those are the four like four base like elements base elements yeah. that are going to make up and, and and change what happens to our planets and we're going to be manipulating the development of our planets to suit our end game final evolution goals so on any turn structure this is all that's going to happen we're going to move one token whether that be a planet or an element one space along the orbital line It'll either travel along the main dark lines, which is the solid orbits, or it'll traverse inward or outward along these sort of faded lines, one space. Um, the elements cannot pass through each other and they can't land on a space with another element. Um, but what you're gonna try to do is get these elements to crash into planets so that the planets can soak up those elements and get you closer towards uh, one step in the evolution of the planet. Um, the planets can also move one space, um, either you know, outside of the track or within the track. And there's certain other element, uh, planet move rules mm -hmm. that, that apply, but we'll get those a little bit later when they actually do apply. Because right now they can't do it. So as far as you're concerned, the beginning movements of all elements and planets is really just one space. Right. So you can either move an element into a planet or you can move an ele a planet into an element. And that takes the element and you'll be placing it on your player board with the respective planet that soaked up that element. So to start the game, all four planets are considered hostile they're inhabitable, right? Uh, at some point, they could turn habitable depending on what evolutions we've put these planets through. So you can kind of force a planet to become habitable uh, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. uh, the players start with a hand of five, and that's your, that's your hand limit. And we're each going to get uh, two low evolution cards, two high evolution cards, and two final evolution cards. And we're going to pick which final evolution we want to stay with for the game. Uh, you're allowed a maximum of four high uh, final evolution cards in your hand at uh, you know, for the game, and that's all that you can play. Because at the very end of the game, our last action is going to be to play out as many final evolutions as we can, depending on whether or not we met the, the criteria to achieve those objectives and earn those victory points. 
So I okay. will deal us each two low evolution, two high evolution, and then two final, and we're going to select one final each to start the game. Perfect. All right. So there's yours, there's mine, and we are going to look at our cards and decide what we want to keep. Okay. All right, so I'm going to choose to discard that one of my final evolutions, and you've got yours. So the, the turn order goes uh, very, very simple. Uh, so France is going to be player one. She's going to do move one token, and then she's going to play a card if she can, and then it's my turn. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that that's how simple. it's so, so simple. Now, the cards um, are basically evolutions that we're going to be doing to the planet. We're going to be creating certain things, certain uh, characteristics, if you will, right? And just to go over what the cards really represent, I'll show one of mine. And um, for example, this card here is a low evolution. The low, and the difference between the low and the highs is really just the power. Mm -hmm. How many uh, elements it's going to require, right, how many obviously. points it'll earn you, and, and more the complexity of getting it played. So if you want to really just start spamming uh, evolutions out to planets, low evolution is probably the way to go, right? Because mm -hmm. you only need like two or three uh, uh, elements. Right. Uh, for example, so if I want to put a thick atmosphere and, and play this card, it has to be played. If there's a planet on here, it has to be played on that planet type, whether it's gaseous or, or uh, terrestrial. In this case, it would have to go on, one of the, on either planet C or D. Uh, it has to have gas and it has to have uh, rock. And I have to have them on my player board for whichever planet I want to create a thick atmosphere on. This is how many points I'm going to score, five points. And the hexagon around that will determine whether or not it gives it habitable characteristics or hostile characteristics. Uh, if you have multiple cards of different types, you add them all up, and the highest value is what state the planet will be, mm -hmm. right? So you can kind of shift and change planets yeah. around. And that's what we're going to do. It's, it's more of a tug of war. Mm -hmm. We're going to be manip manipulating planets, planet orbits, and all that good stuff. Um, real quick, so you know what we're heading for, uh, end game condition. I'll take one that we threw out okay, so that good, it yeah. doesn't give away what we're going for, right? So this is a final evolution, for example. So at the very end of the game, if you have a, a planet that is hostile, and it's in orbit three or four, so you just got to make sure it's in this orbit, and it could be three or four, and it could be any planet type because it doesn't tell you any specifics. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to have uh, one of your to contribute to it. So whenever you put a uh, an evolution on a planet, it'll go uh, next to that respective planet on one of the corners, and then you place one of your little markers on it to show that you you're the one who did that evolution. So it basically says you have to have at least one evolution token that you'll pay. To, to activate it. So if you want to do score multiple final evolution cards on one planet, you better make sure you've got multiple evolutions mm -hmm. throughout the game on that particular planet. And then you would score six points at the end. You're allowed to score yep. up to four of these. So that's how the game is going to end. And the timer track is this evolution track. So every, um, every time we do an evolution, all of the elements that are used in that evolution are going to go on this track. And once they get up to the end, Game's over. Game's over. And yep. this, this goes pretty quick. quickly. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> right. you want to start cool. us off? Yep. So I'll take planet C and zip him around the orbit and collect this. Right. And so then what happens is um, I've collected this element and I'm going to put it on planet C because that's what you crashed into. Mm -hmm. so that's it. That's your turn. And you have um, okay. oh, an option to play a card. And I can't. So. All right. So here's one thing to note. There are two main symbols in the base game on the cards. There's this gravity symbol and there's this downgrade symbol. If, the, if you play a card that has this gravity symbol on it, you can take an element from anywhere on the board and put it on any planet on your player board. If it has this downgrade symbol, say for example, you didn't have um, anything you could play a card on, you didn't have enough elements to, uh, to, play, to play any cards. I could actually take a card that has this downgrade symbol on it, discard it, because I'm playing it, instead of playing a card, and I get to draw one low evolution card. So that's mm -hmm. a good way to get some fresh cards in your hand if you yeah, really don't like... Don't yeah, if you don't have great cards. So, all right. So that was your turn. Very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the beginning. It's a it is. Beginning it is the beginning. Just Big the beginning. Bang. So I'm going to. So now instead of moving a planet, I can just take this gas, for example, mm -hmm. and move it in the orbital track and crash it into planet B. And now B collects some gas. He's a little gassy right now, okay. but that's okay. <laughs> we so, love it anyway. Yep. Your turn. Okay. And I'll take C and crash him into this gas cloud. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take B and push him out of the three track up into the four track and okay. crash into the stone and collect stone for planet B. And then on planet B, I'm actually going to do an evolution. Okay. 
So I'm going to create a giant storm, and mm -hmm. that's going to cost one gas and one rock. So we'll put them up there by B, so those go in the track. And I place one of these markers on it to identify that I Can did that in? evolution. I'm going to gain two points mm -hmm. on, the, on the scoring track, and I, it also happens to have the gravity symbol on it. Yeah. The gravity symbol allows me to grab any element from anywhere on the board and place it on any planet on my planet board. So that's quite nice. So I think I will take a gas from, maybe I'll take from out here, and I'll put that on planet, I'll put on planet C, for example. Okay. All right, and now I get to draw a card. You always draw up to your hand, and you only ever get to play one card. And you only ever get to pick up one element except if you have that gravity right. symbol. So now your choice for cards is you could take one low or one high or two final and one. discard one. So I'll take two final and discard okay. one while you go. And I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go here and swing this guy onto orbit four, planet C. And then I'm going to play Desecrated Moons up to planet C. So so this one has like the gas giant symbol in it, so it has to be okay. the rings. Play these down here. And that is six points. Six points for you. Yep. I uh, need one of your tokens, and you also get a gravity. Yes, I do. So I'll take like, uh, maybe like this guy. And Put it like here. Okay. And I will also take two final evolution cards, please. Okay. There you go. Thanks. So I'm going to take planet B and run him into some more gas. And that's it. All right. I'll take this one. All right, so discard that, mm -hmm. and it's your turn, That's right? Great. Um, all right. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take this gas and pop it into planet B. Okay. Is that it? Your turn. Uh, I'm going to move planet B over and take some more gas. Your turn? Why keep moving planet B? I like planet B. Plan B. Plan B. Plan A. I will... Uh, M. Uh, I guess I'll just do this. <laughs> Why do you keep taking Planet B? Because I'm trying to terraform it or evolve it. <laughs> uh, I think I will take water into Planet B. Boom. But you keep just copying me. Oh, I do? Well, I'm going to actually evolve it. Okay, good. So are you done with that? Yeah. So there's Planet B. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring in, what is that one called? Tidal, Tidal forces. forces. So that is... Giant storm. Two gas and some water. See that? A giant storm and then tidal forces. It's nice, very right thematic. Back. Here's my marker. How okay. many points is that? Uh, eight. Eight points. So I go up to ten. And that swings the habitable uh, balance. Habitable, right? Yep. So now it is eight habitable to two inhabitable okay. or hostile. So it swings. So now planet B is habitable. Mm. Making a super earth. You're making a super earth? Maybe. Okay. Wow. Well. I will take a low evolution card this round. All right. We'll do this. Let's take... I'll take this and crash in planet A. Okay. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Now, also keep in mind that planets can't land on spaces with other planets. Right. They can go over top of the other planet, though. 
only if they perform that ex- that like expanding uh, orbit, mm-hmm. which allows it to zip along the thick line. But it would have to be able to jump planet right. C to get to that. Yeah. Right. Like you're trying to move B. Yeah, if I were to, if I were for example to move B, right. I could move here and then it could push up through C. It just can't land on C. That's right, the thing. Right, exactly. But it can only do that on the solid lines. It can't right. cross and do that. So otherwise, it can only move one space. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, so that's where sort of the strategy here comes in because I don't know mm-hmm. what I want to do right now. Okay. I don't like where B is actually located. So I think I'll probably just take planet A, maybe. Why can't I have my planets? <laughs> or maybe planet C. Where's C? I'll touch a different planet now. Ah, okay, I'll just take some uh, some gas with C. Okay. Uh, where was I there? You know what? I'm not going to do that. Okey-doke. I'm going to actually crash rocks into C. Okay. Because I'm going to evolve it. So okay. I'm creating a thick atmosphere on planet C. Uh-huh. And that's going to cost these two. And that will give me five more victory points. Okay. And it's not enough to create a habitable environment yet on planet mm-hmm. C, but I'm getting there. Okay. I will draw up a card. My turn. Yeah, I'm going to take a high evolution okay. this time. So. I'm Ooh. All right, so I. We'll take planet A and suck up all this water. What's all the water on this side of the board? Like, what exploded there? I don't know. This was the Big Bang. <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to play Hyper Salinity on planet A. It's a salt planet. And. You do get gravity on any one of your tokens. Yes, I do. And that's three points so for you. And I will take some. I don't and think you need I any more need gas over there. <laughs> All there. right. <laughs> and I'll, I need two cards, please. Or uh, one card. I'll take a high evolution. High evolution? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I'm like starting from scratch here. I don't like this. Eek. All right. Planet A, huh? Where's A? A is terrestrial. Okay. Let's go ahead and work some other planets, I think. We'll stick with C, I think. So C, we're going to just grab... Where's D? We haven't really moved D, have we? Mm-mm. I'll go grab some water for D. Your turn. Okay. Um, oh, all right. Let's do Let's do this for C. Hmm. I'll crash this rock into C. Some iron. Some iron. And then I'm gonna play this giant impact. To what planet? To planet B, obviously. With all the shits on it. Oh. Um, so that's two gas and And that's 10 points, please. Okay. And that actually changes. It does. B. So this now becomes uninhabitable. Hostile. Very hostile. Man, why would you do that? What? <laughs> why would you do that? Why wouldn't I do that? Because it, ha- it was habitable. I was trying to get it super earth. Huh? All right. Maybe we're, we don't want it to be habitable. What would you like to do now? Or maybe we do. Um, I'll take, um, let's just take a low evolution, actually. Thank okay. You. I will take planet A and scoop up some rocks in that orbit. Your turn. Oh, right. And I will take planet C down here and take some rocks. And 
Some volcanic ash is going to fall on planet C. Well, that's not good. It's not good. And that actually changes the habitability. Mm hmm That gives you five yeah. points. So. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll take... Um, I'll take... I'll take two final evolution cards, please. Okay. Yeah, I don't like I the think. way this is going. So I will... Where's A? Over there. I really don't like the way this is going. Take some water with A. And that's it. Hmm. Poor D is like all the way out there. I know. It's lonesome. We're not have to move two yet, are we? Not yet. So at, at a certain point in the evolution track, there's this these two arrows up there, and once the elements that we've used to evolve reach that point, you can then move the elements up to two spaces. Only the elements, not the planets. Planet rules stay the same. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna go here and zoom planet C up here. All right, I'll just take a over here. Get some iron. Alright, I'm gonna take C up here. And now there's gonna be some interplanetary dust along with the volcanic ash. It's terrible. <laughs> well, like I think that's good because it's all contributing to the habitability of planet C. So we're Okay. Changing and this gas has, jar. Um, that it, has a gravity it does. thing on it, right? Yep, so you can pull so an element. I'll take like... Oh, how many points is that? Two? That's two points. Take like this and put it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I guess D. I'm not really doing anything with D. Uh, what card would you like? Um, I'll take like a high evolution, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna push some gas into planet A. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use a terraforming beam. Hmm. Why do I want to do that? Mm -hmm. Do I want to do that? No. Okay. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to pass. It's a good thing you're not actually in control of any of this. No, no, I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to play my card. Okay. I am going to do that. Yeah. I'm just not going to. You're not going to. I'm not going to blast it with, it with a terraform beam okay. just yet. No. Uh, I'll take D down here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to do the like expanding orbit type move with the planet. So again, it can move as many spaces as it wants until it hits an element on the thick line that it's mm -hmm. in. So it's going to push up and swing into this gas. And now I'm going to perform a chemical soup. Ooh, chemical soup. Chemical soup on planet A. I even know that this high scoring card. I don't know, but I it's fantastic. Any of those. So chemical soup is going to require two gas, one rock, and one water. Okay. And it's going to score me ten points. That's good. Yep. And it also swings the condition of the planet to become habitable. Okay. So now chemical soup Where's equals chemical good. Soup? Oh, that planet. Planet A, yeah. I hit A. Okay. So that's it, and I will draw up a new card. I'm going to take 
final evolutions. So you can go. Okay. Um, I'll take this guy down there. Your turn. Hmm. These are such good cards. I don't know what to do with them. Really? Mine aren't very good. Uh, oof. This is tough. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where am I? Planet A again? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna smash this water into Planet A. Boom. Are you gonna play any cards? No cards. Alright, so I'm gonna bring A back in tighter, Oops. take some more water. Okay. And I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna play the Doomsday device. So I like this is kind of a neat card, <laughs> but I'm playing it to Planet D because I don't want to mess up all the rest of our stuff right now. Because it really could mess a lot of stuff up. Like, I could really mess up, like, that planet, for example. But what does it do? Um, okay, so the Doomsday device has... It's part of that expansion. Mm -hmm. So it has kind of this weird hexagon on the outside. And what that means is that in, it scores. So you score it to the planet. But then you flip the, the hostile state of the planet to the listed number. So it goes to 2. And all the cards that have already been played, like all of these, would be flipped down. Right. So they're inactive. Because it's a doomsday device. Yeah, it just destroys the planet. Yeah, like destroys well, it. Well, everything you've done to it. Exactly. So I don't really want to do that. So <laughs> I'm just going to put that there because we don't have anything happening on D right now. No, we don't. <clears throat> um, and that stays radioactive. How many points is that worth, too? It's just two points. Okay. That's what I said. Like, that was a high evolution. But it's really, it could really just kind of mess with the whole board. I think, I guess that's why it was high evolution. Right. Um, I will take, please. I, ugh, I really don't know. I guess I'll take a, I'll take a low evolution, please. Okay. Thank you. And we crossed over this two point thing. Right. So now we've now got we can move two spaces. accelerated evolution. Now we can move elements up to two spaces. Right. Just the elements. So I'm going to crash this gas into planet A. And now I will play. A rapid climate change. Mm. And that's going to cost one gas and one water. Okay. But it's going to earn me five points. And it still maintains its habitable environment. Habitability. 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 Okay. All right. I will take mm, high evolution. Okay, right. I'm going to take print planet D up here now. Your turn. Oh, you went? I Ooh. swung planet D up there. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not good. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yikes. Oh, you just swung a planet. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. No, it's not good at all. Uh, I'm going to swing planet A out into three. Okay. You don't want to suck up any... Oh, you can't. I can't. Okay. So that's it. That's all I can do. Your turn. All right. 
and then I'll take planet D, crash some gas into it. Okay. And I will play methane release. Oh, it's you're Mr. good at methane. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gas planet. It's uh -huh. not even a gas planet. Now it is. Um, One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Go. All right, you good, Mr. Methane? Yep. All right, what card would you like? Oh, man. We're getting close. Uh, let me take let me take two final evolution cards, I think. Okay. I'm going to just crash oh, really? A like, into there and take some rock. These are both really crappy. Can I try again? Nope. Okay, where's that? Okay. It's your oh, turn, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, D is a gas giant. It's so thematic. Hmm. <laughs> Bring A out up to here. And I'm going to swing D all the way around to that rock. I'm like running low on elements here. Yes, you are. I'll push A up into this gas cloud. And I will push D up into this gas cloud. We're in like a gas cloud together. We are. <laughs> and it's terrible. <laughs> uh, man. Okay, let's see. I need to make some moves here. So I'm going to bring B out into this orbit track. Okay. And I'm going to crash this metal into D right. here. And create some radiation belts. That's what we need. How many points That's, is that? Six? That is six points. And it's just these two. Okay. Yeah, it looks like another two evolutions and we're done. It's too fast. Well, you need to start evolving some stuff. I'm, I'm trying. Chips. I am trying. And I'll take... Um, I'll take two final evolution, please. How many do you have in your hand? I have four. This will be your fifth if you take it and you're not allowed to have five. Oh, that's right. So you can... I, so I can't discard any of Not at this I'm point. Scared. It's too late. Oh. I thought you said I could. Well, earlier, yes. I got really crappy Final Evolution. I know. Well, you've been hoarding them. Didn't you do it last hand? What? You did it last yes, hand. Yes, and I got two really crappy ones. Oh. Well. Um, I guess I'll... I don't know. I'll take a... I'll take a low. Okay. Yes. So I need, hmm, all right, so planet B, okay, I can do this. I'm going to move B up here. Okay. And that's it. I'm going to move A down here. 
All right, I'm going to move. Oh, you moved A. Mm -hmm. Well, that was messed up. Why? I was planning to move to do oh. something with A. Yeah. What can't you do with them now? I'm sorry? What can't you do with A that you were going to do before? Uh, I was actually going to push this water down into A. But now oh. I can't. But that's well, why okay. Why don't you move him? Oh, you can't move too. Can't do that. Oh, so. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. That's the way the orbit swings. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Is that a thing? No, it's not really. Okay. All right, so what if I move A? No, I'm not going to move A. I need, to, I need to move water into B. Okay. There. And I'm going to play this card for its um, for its downgrade. Okay. It's a high evolution downgrade. Just lets me draw a low a low card. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. That actually worked out. Okay. Well, I need to move A again. No, oh, you can do whatever you want okay. with A. I'm pretty much done with A. I'm gonna move A around here. Grab that. You're good. Mhm. Mm uh, all right. So, what do I have left? B. Is that? What can B do? I'm gonna push B. Put me in a pickle here. I am also in a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. No, it doesn't. Because I've got things I need to do, and I'm not able to do them, which is a pain. So I will... Gosh, I'm going to have to do B. Problem is, I can't do what I need. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, no. I'm going to push it all the way up to here. Okay. Where did you push it? I was, was over it here. Yeah, but it can push as far as it wants. And it can just stop? Yep. Really? Of course. Oh, I thought I had to keep spinning. Until you stop it or it oh. hits an element. Okay. I think that when we've played before, I just keep spinning those you planets like to. all around. <laughs> uh, okay, well that actually changes everything. Um, where's C? Hmm. All right, I'm going to go here. And then, um, And I'm going to do an asteroid impact on A, I think. Are you now? I think. I think so. <laughs> I'm just worried because it's going to switch the habitability of A. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. It's probably not a good idea. I just can't keep evolving stuff. You're not really evolving anything. Well, I'm trying. Believe me. You are. There's certain things I need to have happen, though. Mm. Okay. I'm not... I won't play. I'm not going to play a card right now. All right, you're not? No. Okay. Uh, but I did... Mo I moved him into that. Into Which that is fine, because I'm just right going to move there. him right here. Okay. For my turn. Okay. I'm going to discard this downgrade okay. to take a low, a low card. Evolution. Yep. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, this is getting a little bit weird. Space is weird. I, I <laughs> love how though we're like sucking up the elements to make stuff. Yeah. And now like the elements are becoming part of the planet. That's why there's not many out there. Exactly. It's very cool. Oh, I'm gonna play this by the way. I will do this. So I'll play this over to A. So you're gonna. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot. Um, yeah. Like I want to, but at the same time. You don't want to switch it? I don't really want to switch it. Okay. You don't have to. Why are you hoarding all that stuff up on A? Because I'm going to do the Big Bang. You are? No, I'm not. I'm just okay. <laughs> because I haven't been able... I've been getting elements to get two other elements. That's my problem here. Oh, I see. So yeah, I've yeah. got an, an excess of elements I don't need. Okay. So A just has like piles of rocks and gas. Right, that has right. nothing to do with it. All right, this might be a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to hit it, aren't I'm gonna you? I'm going to hit it because, and okay. you can take, I'm out of chits, so you have to take this marker from this one and put it over there. Okay, so. And the reason why is because I need to get through some more cards to try and do some more stuff. That's three points for you. One, two, three. And I'll just take a low evolution card. You also get an element from somewhere else because that card had gravity. Yeah. Okay. Um... I can take an element from anywhere. From anywhere. And put it on any planet on your board. And this actually flipped yeah. A to hostile, yeah, which is no bueno. All right, I'll take. But you didn't end it. No, it didn't. I'll We're close, though. Uh, oh, I already have a water on B. I'll take this one then. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm going to push A up to this water. And I will play hydrothermal vents onto A. Mm, okay. Which is going to swing <laughs> it back. I'm sure that makes you happy. It does. All right, so that's going to cost me a water and a stone. That's still not going to... Oh, that is going to end it. Do oh, I wanna, okay. Do I do want, want to? to do that? I don't want to do that. If you don't, I'm probably going to. I don't care. Okay. I'm going to play this. Water outbursts. That's okay. only one element of huh. water. Okay. That does not end it. Mm, that's good. It's going to be three points for me, and it's going to switch it back, yeah. I think. I think it should, because it was only up by one. 13 to 11. All right, yeah. so we're still, we're winning on the habitable front. I get three points. All right, and I get to pick a card, so I'll take two of these guys. While you go. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, here we go. Ooh. So I'm going to move B just right there. Oh, okay. These are so good, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just going for the sure thing. The sure thing? Yeah. Did it work out? I hope so. I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this here. Oh, God, that's going to end it. I told you I was going to end it. I gave you fair warning. Is that okay? I guess. I think that's why the spot's bigger. Um, so I'm going to do that. Where do I want to take my chip from? How about... I guess I'll take it. Where do I have the most? I guess I'll take it from C. Let me put that over there. All right. So that ends it, right? Mm -hmm. For me. Um, so I get to score my final cards. You do. And All then right. you get one more turn, so yes. that's how this works. Yep, so, so as soon as somebody reaches the end, um, they finish their turn, and now they can score all of their cards, mm -hmm. and then every other player gets a turn to play a, to grab an element, play a yeah. card, and then score all of their cards. Did you give me six points for that? No, I wasn't planning on that, but okay. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay. All right, so I have first Vulcan. So this is a Vulcan planet. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it has to be habitable. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. It's so close to that sun. 
Um, it has to be within an orb. It's one or two, and I have to give up one of my So that's chips. planet A. So that's going to be planet A. So here's one of your chips. Thank you. And you score seven points for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. okay? Um, then I have active moon, which is like mm. the same kind of thing, except out in space. Um, so it has to be habitable um, in orbits five or six. And I'm going to target planet C for that one. There you go. Then you give that up and you score six points. Okay. And then I have counter earth. And this one has, it has a symbol on it that basically means that the you have to have two planets that are directly opposite each other. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be in the same orbit op each, opposite each other, but they do have to be opposite. So like I have D and B. Correct. Opposite each other. So and this one does not require any chits. It does not. Six pointer. Okay. And then finally, radiation baked orb, Ooh, which is planet D, D with my doomsday device and the radiation belts and the methane. <laughs> Mr. <Nobody> methane. <laughs> okay. Um, so it has to have three of these metal okay. elements. You have it. It has to be radioactive or, or hostile. hostile. And I have to give up one of my chests. That's 13, 13 points. points. One, two, three, one, two. So okay. you're at 80 points exactly. Wow. So you've got a 47 point lead on me right, All right. now. All right. Well, I'm not sure if I can. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it I goes. can catch up to <laughs> that. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. I've got to decide if I can do this because. You look like you're scheming. Well. You get a whole turn. But I can. I get one move. That's the problem, ah, right? I see. So. Yeah. I'm going to forego scoring everything because, like, there's certain things I'm not going to be able to do because I only have one move. Do you want an extra move? No, I don't. I can so do I do want to score that. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to score that either. Wow, that hurt. Yeah, that really hurt. I'm in trouble. I am in trouble, so I can't score that either. Wow. Where are you? Oh, don't worry. I, uh, I'm i looking at my planets, and there's certain ones I have to have you doing certain Why things. Well, I'm still getting... I still get to move. I know. But I'm not sure what I want to do with planet... I might as well score planet B a little bit. Yeah. So, I've got this on B. I'm going to play hydrothermal vents onto B. Oh, okay. So, that's going to be two more chits. Cool. Uh, one of my things. And that actually turns B habitable. Oh, very good. And it's five points, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm going to try to score as many of these as I can, but it's not really going to work because I'm not going to be able to score two of them just because of the orbits. Okay. And that's what that's what got me. Yeah. Um, so, if, like, for example, I needed a, a gaseous planet in six or seven. They're both... In five. In six or seven. Nobody's in six yeah. or seven, so I don't get to score that. Why couldn't you move this up here? Because then I wouldn't be able to score B. Oh. It's five points either way, so yeah. it's a wash. Um, next is Icy Dwarf Planet. I just need a habitable world in six or seven. Okay. And B is B. in six, so yeah. uh, B can take away one of those, mm -hmm. and that scores seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we have Planet Maxwell, which mm -hmm. is just a habitable planet where I have the majority of tokens, mm, okay. which happens to be A. Right, there you go. So I get eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And finally, Ocean Planet. Mm. This was my dilemma. Okay, so what do you have going A on? A was the planet I was going to use. I needed it to be in three, though. Oh. So, But I needed an extra water, which I only have one. Oh, crap. And that was a 12-pointer. Oh, that sucks. So that would have brought me closer, but... Yeah. That's where it ended. All right, well, there you so, go. So, did not get all the right cards, unfortunately. Yeah. I got, all, I got so many cards, I was just trying to end it. Yep. <laughs> Quickly. All right, cool. Well, there you go. All right. All right, there you go, Planetarium. I feel what really, a game. I feel really bad. Why? Well, because I feel like you didn't have enough time to finish doing everything you wanted to That's do. That's the game. And I, I just know how upsetting that is. 
for me. Why is that upsetting for you? I don't know. You well, won. no, I mean like in situations where Would I don't Would you be need mad if every... it were the other way? If around. it were me, I'd probably. Be mad. I think that I'd, be, I'd still be say. picking up elements <laughs> from all corners of this room. I'm not even joking. So um, handle it differently. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, this is a very fast game. Yeah. When, when we say 45 minutes, it. I mean, I don't know how long that game took us. Usually, it takes us like about half an hour. Yeah, so, so. it's it's fast moving. Yeah, and and I think that's. That's what I tend to forget sometimes when mm -hmm. we play this, is because you're trying to plan this end game strategy from the right. first turn. Yeah. You're planning your end game strategy, and it gets on you fast. Mm -hmm. And then if you're not ready for it, you end up losing by 20 points. Yeah. Or more. Yeah. And I just was like, I was about two moves away from being able to score my cards, but it was already too late. I'd already, yeah. I, I'd focused too much on, on one planet. One card. Yeah. And we can talk strategy in a little bit. Right. Um, but let's talk about replayability. So again, this is like about a, about a 30 to 45 minute game. Yeah. Um, and I mean, your elements are going to come out differently every single time. Oh yeah, that's randomized. Yeah, so totally every random. element comes out. The planets are are set, so they, yeah. they do have a starting spot. Uh, obviously, all the decks are, are different. We also had in a uh, a booster pack, which is like the science pack or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so it was like expansion one. So I'm assuming there's going to be more in the future, right. which adds a few more of those um, end game card symbols, right. which we actually you which got we to used, say. Yeah, because like my. Um, I don't know, alternate Earth or whatever it was. Like they had yeah, the two planets having to be adjacent uh, yeah. across the sun from each other. Mine where you had to have majority mm -hmm. of tokens on a particular planet. And a lot of that has to do with timing, too, at the end. So you've got to really, it does, yeah. you've got to really coordinate that. Yep, yep. Um, but highly replayable, in my opinion. Yeah, without a doubt. So. Again, this falls into the short game category. Right. right? Short, light, um, with variability to set up. Yeah. It's got all of it. So And, and like kind of palatable strategy. Yeah. Like this isn't... It, there's a lot more strategy than probably what it looks like on the surface mm -hmm. going into it But when you're done with it, you're not like okay. I'm like completely brain burn and I don't no, want to play this again Not at all. So yeah. not very good real real high yeah. replayability here. All right. Um, what about well, so let's talk about weight um, Again, it's deceiving because yeah. it's very easy to understand. I think in my opinion This is one that anybody I think could pick up and play. Yeah, uh, but the strategy is a little bit complex and your timing is complex. Yeah, but I think once you get that down, quick, yeah. it should be pretty easy, right? Yeah. And this thing scores a two out of five on, in weight on, yeah. on BGG, so. It's like nothing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a light game. There's yeah. no question, it's a light game. Yeah, okay. Um, what about the components? I, I like them, you know? I yeah. mean, I think the cardboard, uh, it's, it's very, sh it's, it's shiny stock, so mm -hmm. if you're okay with that, like, I give or take it, I kind of prefer more of the matte finish right. uh, on cardboard just because it, it gives you less glare and we have a, you know, when you have a lot of lighting in a room, it, it tends to wash out I what know, you're looking yeah. at. Um, but other than that, I think, you know, it, it's it's effective. It gets mm -hmm. the job done, right? So you've got all the chits on the board. I mean, you could really... We were talking about... Really pimp out this game done. if you were to, like, put, you know, like, half planets. Like on, half spheres. Half spheres on the on the surface and each of them a different type of planet. Yeah. That would look awesome. Or and, like and, the elements. And the elements if they were like actual like little metal, uh, little metal or little uh, meeples or something just yeah just to like really dress it up. Like you could do that on your own. That's fine. I don't yeah. think it's really necessary to be quite honest um, because the chip the tokens do the job. Mm -hmm. um, it does come with standees for the planets so if you're sitting you know uh, as you would normally play they'll stand out over the elements. So they don't kind of get washed out. Right. Uh, that it wouldn't have, film well. Wouldn't not yeah. a film uh, carried over in the film because you would look straight down on these stand-ups. Yeah. Be uh, so we played with the normal tokens, mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise I think the cards and the art is fantastic. Yeah. And I think that every space game should be at least this good looking. Oh, absolutely. And I think the theme, like I think I even said during the playthrough, is really neat because you start out with all these elements like very a la Big Bang, mm -hmm. right? And then you're at the towards the end, and you saw this. It's kind of hard to get the elements that you want because you're using them constantly to build, you know, structures and and you know atmosphere and mm -hmm. all kinds of different stuff on your planet. Yeah. Which is what would happen. So you have a you know a, not as many actual elements out there. Yeah. But you've got these planets with all this stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of like the whales in New Bedford, where. After you've done whaling enough, there's just not as many there's whales in the ocean. There's not as many whales ocean. out there. So it is, I guess it's kind right? of... Right? Kind of like that. It's a stretch. In a sad way. <laughs> this is sad. This but, is not as sad, I no. think. So, yeah, thematically, it's it's 
fantastic. Yeah. Like if you if you like science, like this science. is this is right yeah, there. Yeah, you're into space, and um, you know it, this would be a, a really really cool one. I think even like being like teachers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a really, really neat one. Like kids can pick it up. It's really not, cool. The flavor text on the cards yeah. is awesome. It tells you like what each of those little events really does. And yeah, it's, it's yeah. cool. You, it really is well done. Yeah, it was well done. Um, all right, so fun factor. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's a fun game. You yeah. know, as as frustratingly painful as it can be at yeah. the end when you can't get your final you know mm -hmm. uh, evolutions to work out. Right. But it's fun along the way. You know, just really trying to manipulate the planets and the elements. You know, along with the other players doing the same thing, mm -hmm. and you're hoping that they're not trying to make your planet hostile when you've been trying all game to right. make it, you know, uh, habitable. Yeah. So it's a tug of war, you know, right. but, you know, or do you know when to just give up on it and go work on another planet? Because there's four planets out there. Mm -hmm. You know, there's plenty to go around. It's, um, it's interesting because we, I mean, we tend to not try to get in each other's business a lot when we're playing games. Mm -hmm. uh, but depending on who you're playing with, I could see this being fun for people who like to build their own engines, but also people like a lot of interaction. Yeah. Because if I, it's what I kind of what I thought you were doing in the beginning of the game, because I was like, okay, I'm just going to build my planet over here. Mm -hmm. And you like kept going after that same planet. And right. I'm like, are you trying to mess me up? Or like, no. you know, are you trying to throw me off? Or what's going on? It's a matter of like, you, you, if your end game card is like, hey, you need a habitable planet, yeah. you know, um, and it has to be in like orbit three, you know. All right, there's already a planet in orbit three that I right, can push. Exactly. And if we both decide at the same time to push the same planet because yeah. we don't want to have to work its orbit out. Yeah. Because it takes time to work right. a planet out there and you're giving up on other opportunities by doing mm -hmm. that. So that, it just kind of yeah. worked out that way. One thing I think like strategy wise that I did find out in one of the, like, the first plays that we had was that I mean your elements are very limited. Mm -hmm. I think in our it was our, maybe our first game, and I had a card a lot like yours where I was looking for like one specific kind, like I needed an element of some kind, right. and there were like three left on the board. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so I I mean I try to do those like sooner so that I kind of suck up what I need. Yeah, <laughs> and then I don't have to worry about that twelve point card at the end of the game because I've already taken care of it. Yeah. But, um, but it's these little things that are kind of fun to learn while you're playing, mm -hmm. too. So. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's so cool. it's super fun. Uh, what would you compare this to? Ooh, uh, it's kind of weird. You kind mean, of go it, different routes with it. It is, it is pick up and deliver. It is. I mean, if, if you really take a step back mm -hmm. and you're like, you've got four vehicles, which yes. are planets, right? Yes. And you're driving them around the mm -hmm. map and picking up items. In the most efficient way, because right. they follow a route. Right, and then take them somewhere and drop them off. Right, to build... Know? Me to score cards, levels. really, yeah, and you're really just, and your cards are your delivery right. contracts, you mm -hmm. could say it that way, right? So if you rethemed it, mm -hmm. you could be little trucks driving around picking up goods, right? and then filling out orders, right? I mean, that's, yeah. that's pick up and delivery, but it's so heavily themed, it hides that. Yeah. And I think that they do a really good job of that because it is, to me, it could be the most basic of pick up and delivery games, mm -hmm. but it's just wrapped in such a, a, a well, well done theme. Okay. Cool. So compares to probably pretty much any pickup and delivery game yeah, that you've played. Any basic. Um, with all the theme and everything of, uh, like to me, it's almost like almost as like terraforming Marsy kind of. Well, in I a way, think but you're not terraforming. Yeah. But it was space. I think you kind of are terraforming in certain you, aspects. You are by making kind the habitable of, yeah. planets. Yeah. But as, as far as the flavor and all that kind of thing goes, you really right. feel immersed in the theme. You feel like you are kind of like. You know this other like this outside particle kind mm -hmm. of like making all of this happen. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's hard to it's hard to compare to some of the other pickup and deliveries we've played recently because like Oracle of Delphi right, yeah. is a much more complex pickup pick and, and delivery, delivery exactly. right? And this is very basic. This is about if you stripped all the special things uh -huh. away and just said, hey, you need these three items and you can fulfill right. this contract. That's it. Yes. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. take away all the combat and all the special right. missions and all the certain places you have to go to. Mm -hmm. do. Like you don't have to you pick it up, but you don't have to go anywhere. You just pick it up. Yeah. And then once you have it, you score it. Boom. Right. So, like I said, it's very, very simple. Okay, cool. Um, how about expectations? So, uh, again, we yeah. pick this up at PAX. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, it's kind of weird because I expected it to be more complicated uh -huh. and heavier by the look of it because it's a very intimidating board. There's right. a lot of stuff going on on this board, but it's really the opposite. So, it, it, it was not what I expected. Mm -hmm. right? It didn't fail to meet my expectations, but it met them in a different way. Right. And I think I was more pleased by it being a light game uh -huh. wrapped in theme right. than it being this overcomplicated scientific game that I was just going to be bored out of my mind. So, yeah. okay. so I, I'm, I'm I good. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised same, with that. Same page completely. Okay. Um, so let's talk pros and cons. Mm. Um, pros. 
Pros. Light and fun. Light and fun. Great art. Yeah, good theme. Good components. Uh, awesome theme. Yeah. Cons. Too short. Yeah, I know. It could go another few rounds, I think. Yeah. Um, and every play, it always feels like it's just a little too short. Right. And I don't know if that was intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and if I it know. is, it's fine. And that's what you get. And yeah. I think it's just adjusting your, your play style. I was going to say, it'd be cool if you could like flip the board. And flip have a the little, table. That's flip the table. <laughs> I thought it would, yeah. but it didn't. So um, yeah, to have a different setup for the flip planets. If you flip the board and have like a different setup for the planets, maybe some of the orbits had different rules or something as far as like where they could, you know what I mean? Right. Um, and then maybe a longer, you know, maybe the orbit goes twice could as long. Could be, or could be like something that. for an expansion. Like maybe too. you put a black hole chip out there and it kind of mm -hmm. warps Sucks the uh, the, the gravitational pull. Yeah, and it yeah. kind of rotates and pulls things certain yeah. ways. I mean, you could do a lot of things with this. Right. Um, so you could add different planet types even. Right. Because you know, there's not only two planet types. Out yeah. There. So I know that um, this just came out. Yeah. So it's kickstarted, but um, you know, it's always something to think about. It'd be really neat if they came out with something like that. I think so. So okay. Well, that's it. Anything else you want to say? No. So there it is. Planetarium. This is our first playthrough from, uh, from PAX Unplugged. <laughs> uh, more to come. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. We'll see you next time. See ya.